Hi guys, this is a very important video regarding CA Inter Paper 5 Auditing and Ethics which is new scheme paper. Now in this video I am going to talk about the course which I am going to take up like the new scheme audit related new lectures which I am going to start. But before that one question which every student is asking me majorly can we follow the old ICI material of audit or can we follow the old audit material which we have? This is the question which everyone is asking. For a comparison, for a comparison, I will give you a data. My old scheme audit material is 400 pages. My old scheme audit material number of pages is 400. And my new scheme audit material number of pages is 650, approximately 650. Don't get me, don't come to immediate conclusion. Let me, let me, you know, there are some reasons why the number of pages have increased. So, approximately what is the difference? 250 pages is the difference. Out of this 250, in the new scheme of my book, I have given proper even more better spacing in my old scheme book the spacing will be very normal okay of course it is good for many but now i even improvised the spacing because of the spacing which i improved maybe let us assume some 50 pages might have gone and case study based mcqs were newly added in the new scheme book okay some 50 pages so some out of 250 pages increase in content 100 pages are for some cosmetic changes, means literally speaking no content is improved, but 150 pages worth of content is newly added. Remember this entire 150 pages of content which is newly added is not yet one place, it is scattered over each and every chapter. Now understand. My old book is 400 pages whereas the new book is 650. Out of it some 100 pages you remove for case study questions all that. Some improvements and all. Spacing and all. 150 pages worth of content. If I apply on old scheme 35% of changes. Approximately 35% of the content has been completely changed in the CA inter -order. Like uh, you know. In the new scheme, we totally have 11 chapters. In the ICA book, if you look at ICA new study material, there are totally 11 chapters. In this, my book also, the number of chapters are same, 11 only. Just that the order in which they gave is different from the order in which I gave the chapters here. Just the order of chapter arrangement alone is different. And you see here, I have given including the subtopics. Getting it done. Now I have highlighted the topics with multiple colors, red, yellow and green. Now whatever the topics have highlighted with red, that chapter has changed drastically. What happened, you know, simply, suppose you see there is a chapter called Ethics and Terms of Audit Engagement. Ethics and Terms of Audit Engagement. In this chapter, what happened, you know, entire quality control topic has been taken from pronouncement book to the main book. Once upon a time, quality control, we have two standards, SQC 1220, there are two standards. We don't have in CA inter in depth at all. In fact, this number itself will not be found in the CA inter world scheme. But now, entire the standard, entire this SQC 1 from the pronouncement, if at all you don't have any idea about pronouncement, earlier in world scheme we have something called pronouncements. What is pronouncement? Pronouncements will have in-depth discussion on standards on auditing. Now in that major content is, you know, major content is copied to new scheme audit study material. Are you getting my point? From pronouncements whatever is there, original standards text, explanatory material, that text is copied into the main material of CA Inter New Scheme Audit material. Not only for these, in fact, for all these chapters, for all these chapters, wherever I have highlighted with red color, especially the content has been improvised a lot. Not just improvised, increased. The content is increased a lot. Getting it? Now, earlier we don't have 450 standard, no, but it is there. Okay, earlier we don't have 260, 265 standards itself in our books. Now it is there, both the standards. Earlier, 
we don't have sa 16 discussion in depth now it is in depth all the standards discussion is in depth entire audit evidence chapter has changed a lot lot has been changed whatever is there in the old book audit evidence discussion whatever is there in the new book you can't compare so literally speaking audit evidence this topic would simplified a lot but many chapters were added now green color you see there is something called 530 and there is something called 520 let's look at these two these two earlier we have as a two separate chapters now it is part of audit evidence chapter but since I, what do you mean by highlighting in green no change at all whatever is there in the old scheme content the same content is there very very light 5 percent cosmetic changes happened now coming to the first and foremost chapter nature objective and scope this is one chapter which will give you shock so many changes so many literally speaking the content has been completely you know modified so now tell me is it better to follow an incremental approach or is it better to follow a total change in the book some students know sir i have i have old auditing material i have old auditing ic material as well so in that some chapters no people are saying that was so and so chapter company audit is removed fraud topic is removed can i ignore these two and study remaining all other chapters can i follow the whole material not at all for your understanding only i spoke literally in number of pages language to make you understand in a simplest way do not risk getting it and believe me in exam i know you are conceptually very strong you you are learning conceptually whatever sir whether the content is changed or not concepts are same no concepts are same but suggested answers will not be same when a new scheme question or when they are asking question in the new scheme audit paper the questions will be drafted based on latest text whatever the latest text is given no based on that questions will be drafted based on the suggested answer will be given and you are writing old text old points old examples getting it so naturally what will happen if you write old text even the conceptually it is correct but it will nowhere match with suggested answer there is a high possibility that answer will not get marks so the only option the best option which i suggest everybody change the audit book i'm not asking you to take my book not required whatever the book you are comfortable verify whether it is as per the new scheme or not whatever changes have told whatever watch this video once again so whatever the book that you are going to take in the market best thing is ICA book at least get ICA book study material and then you know uh, study from that if you want to place order for my book you can order it on the website so whatever the book I am showing you right now you can find it on the website here okay just to, to google it rest of a CACMA go to PDF resources go to CA inter you will find group 2 then you click on paper file so you will find your download now smart notes it is not yet there i will make smart notes very soon colored notes somewhere in december or january i'll upload it okay but right now the main material is there so you can also place hard copy you can also place hard copy of this material so okay you can place order for this hard copy also so you will get two books two modules get it so that's it so honestly the syllabus has changed a lot many points were newly added many standards were newly added in ca inter earlier we don't have these many standards even though even we have some standards right some 26 standards we have the content is not in depth now it is in depth now total number of standards that we have is almost 32 or total 35 standards on auditing were there getting it we have right now 30 plus standards were there in ca inter itself so please observe these changes don't be in false notions or don't be in assumption that compared to old scheme just two chapters for remote rest everything is same no it's not same there is a lots of difference okay and by the way uh, i am going to start new recordings today the date is 22nd november on which i'm recording this video i'm going to start new recordings for the new scheme so 23rd November onwards, so that is nothing but tomorrow onwards, I am going to start the recordings. Every day, one and after two hours, I will be uploading into the courses. Subject wise, we have subscription, we have regular mode, we have getting it. So I will attach a video here, courses offered by uh, courses offered under Sreshta, getting it. So you can enroll into these courses. If at all you are looking for my audit classes or entire CA intergroup to classes, whatever. 
and this audit classes are concerned i am expecting to complete by 31st december maybe in a worst scenario some plus 15 days might take in addition if at all in a worst scenario so 31st december i will be completing these recordings sorry if at all anybody is looking for live i am not able to take live i cannot take live because of many issues latency issues security issues whatever it is only recorded mode of lectures you can order for auditing lectures you know in this rest applications rest of a csem play store application or even on the website which i showed right now so in that also in website if you order one advantage one advantage is you can install it on the windows laptop or desktop but if you order it on this rest app which i showed above play store you can only watch it on android or apple ios that's it okay so that's about the details of this entire course and uh, let's start the new scheme audit let's rock this time uh, my approach of teaching has been drastically changed every one of you your friends or seniors might have told you that how conceptual and commandable my classes are but you are going to see much more improved version now if you are seniors or those who recommended you my classes if they see these upcoming latest classes if at all they see they will feel like hey what a lot has been changed lot more points the sir is discussing so these kinds of comments will be getting getting it fine so i'm very excited uh, to go further and uh, i hope you too you are you are also excited to start these classes and learn the real audit okay all the very best so let's continue in the actual chapters actual syllabus from the next chapter the first chapter which i will start is fundamentals of auditing getting it anyhow the order in which i proceed with chapters is mostly same in the same order i will go so first i'll discuss fundamentals then nos then ethics then i'll discuss audit report then i'll discuss completion and review then i'll discuss documentation then i'll then i'll discuss evidence topic then i'll discuss different types of entities then strategy risk assessment banks and items maybe a uh, strategy and risk assessment i'll cover at last bank audit items of financials i'll cover then after i'll go with audit strategy and risk assessment that's it okay so i hope the entire information that you are looking for regarding audit classes as well as audit material i hope i have conveyed all so this video will be there in the application google drive everywhere as well as on the youtube if at all you are watching this on the youtube put it as comment any of your queries i'll reply whenever my time permits okay take care